Uh, how is Mel B for an addition to the team? I love Mel. You like me? She's oh. quite crazy. Is she? And her dressing room was next to mine. I literally, I'd be waiting for her to arrive because she'd arrive in looking really rough, looking like this person. <laughs> and then, like she really would, and then the whole transformation, and she looked like a diva at the end of that. So how, how did she manage to go from... She'd arrive in in a onesie, and her team were with her. The onesie, and she'd be dragging her three kids with her. And she's a very good mother, Mel, and she's quite crazy. So I'd be waiting for her, go into her room, I'd be sitting down like this, watching her. Yeah. The hair, the makeup, the clothes. She'd be tucking everything in and tucking the feel <laughs> a little bit more out. And she's just, she's brilliant, brilliant judge. And how long did it take for her to go from bag of hammers to diva? It took about three hours. Three hours? Three hours and a whole team. Right. The scaffolding goes up, the makeup goes right. on. But she, I loved her, I really loved her. What you see with her is what you get. Yeah. He couldn't control her either, which I loved. Who, who, they, Simon couldn't Simon. control it. She said whatever she wanted to say. Now, Talisa had to step into the fold for, for the Mel final. B, for yeah, Mel yeah. B, because there was, there was all sorts of talk about that. Was she, was she okay, Mel B? She seemed to have some sort of... She's okay now. Contra She's definitely... I don't really know what happened. Yeah. You don't want to I can't know. say anything. No good. Okay, well, it's probably better that I, way. I want to work with her again, you know? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, I think it was the description of the three-hour transformation that might prevent you from working no, with her again. No, we used to have fun. I used to go and say, there's Mel around. Where is she? Yeah. Looking at her. Here's she here. And then, but she, she had a great attitude to life. Yeah. And she worked really hard. She was always on time. She really meant her the axe. She was very opinionated. And she is a bit scary. Yeah. Well, hence. Absolutely. Scary spice. Scary spice. Now, the very beautiful uh, Cheryl whatever her name is this day, Cheryl, this week. Little, little, little. Well, I call her Cheryl. Cheryl. If you just call her Cheryl, the same. Th that'll do it. Uh, she, is, she, is she fun or is she, got, is she kind of more intense? She seems a little less uh, crack, if you know I what I mean. I think she's happier. Is I she? think she's happier with, with her new husband, JB. What's he like? He's French. <laughs> <laughs> He's French. What's that mean? And every time I... He'd be talking French to me and every time... <laughs> No, I liked them. He would always come into my dress and he'd be telling me what to wear and stuff. And he'd be, I'd be talking like little bits of French. What is it? Give Charles de Gaulle, I'd say. And we ended up singing... Is that, sorry, is that your French? Charles de Gaulle and then uh, uh, Yves Saint Laurent and Rude. And we ended up singing, you know, Ça plat pour moi. You know that song? <laughs> we used to sing that in my dressing room. Right. Mm -hmm. So you, you, the way you... I liked them. You conversed with them by saying random French. Random Charles French thing, Charles de Gaulle, Café Charles de Lise, Yeah. <laughs> And that, that did the Johnny job. Johnny Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that, yeah. And he responded, obviously. He was really nice. He was good fun. I think, right. I think he's a good influence as well. You, you work really... <laughs>